If you are looking for ways to represent the distribution of genders within a data set, you may consider making a gender pie chart. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hadi Ulbasher and today I will demonstrate how to make a gender pie chart in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Let's quickly refresh our idea about the gender pie chart. A gender pie chart shows the qualitative data or frequency distribution of males and females in a data set. This chart will be useful for presenting gender related data in a variety of formats such as surveys, reports and so on. This is a sample gender pie chart. In this tutorial, I will show you the detailed process of creating this gender pie chart from scratch. In the first example, I'll use a percentage of number to get the gender percentage and then use this percentage to create the gender pie chart. So first of all, let's talk about the data set. Here we have the department wise student data. We have the department name, the number of male students in the department and the number of female student and the year of the establishment of the department. From this data set, I will calculate the percentage of male and female students and then we'll create a gender pie chart. To do so, go to cell G5. The percentage of male students is the total number of the male students divided by the total number of male and female students. So, in cell G5, type equal sum. The sum function returns the summation of a range of cells. As the number one argument of the sum function, I'll select the cells C5 to C14. That contains the number of male students. Close the parenthesis of the sum function. This formula will return the number of male students. Now, to divide this number by the number of all the students, I'll use another sum function. So, divide the number of male students and type sum function as the number one argument of this sum function. Select the number of male and female students that are cells C5 to D14. Now close the parenthesis of the second sum function and hit enter. This formula returns the ratio of male students to all the students. However, I want to get the number in a percentage form. For that reason, I need to format the cell. So select the cell G5. Then move to the home tab from the number section. Click on this drop down icon and here you will find different available number formats. As I will set the number format as a percentage, so select the percentage. As a result, you will find the number of male students in a percentage format. Similarly, to get the number of female students in a percentage format, go to cell H5, type equal sum as the number one argument of the sum function. This time I'll select the cells D5 to D14 that contain the female students. Now close the parenthesis of this sum function and divide the number of female students by the total number of students. So to get the total number of students, type another sum function. As the number one argument of this sum function, select the cells C5 to D14. Now close the parenthesis of the second sum function and hit enter. This returns the ratio of the female students to the total students. Now to get the percentage, select the cell H5 from the home tab in the number section. You can click on this percentage icon. Alternatively, press Ctrl Shift plus percentage to get the percentage. Now we have the percentage of male and female students. We can create the gender pie chart now. For that reason, select the cells G4 to H5, then move to the insert tab. On the chart section, click on insert pie or donor chart. This will open different options of pie and donor chart. You can choose any chart according to your choice. In my case, from the 2D pie, I'll choose this pie chart. As a result, a pie chart is created. This is our gender pie chart. Here, the blue color indicates the male and the orange color represents the female. This is the basic view of this pie chart. You can further customize this chart. For example, you can add the data labels. To do so, click on this plus sign which is the chart elements and check data labels. As a result, the data labels are added to this chart. Then, you can set the chart title. So, click on this chart title and set it as gender pie chart and this completes our gender pie chart from this pie chart you can see that the percentage of male students is greater than the percentage of female students in this example i will use the count if function to count the number of male and female students in this data set and then we'll create the gender pie chart using that data so let's talk about the data set first we have a student data set here this includes the name 
the age, the department of the student, as well as the gender of the student. I will create a gender pie chart using this data set. So, first of all, to count the number of male students, go to cell G5, type equal, count if. The count if function counts the number of cells that meet a certain condition. As a range argument of the count if function, as I will count the number of male students from this data set, so select the cells E5 to E14. Now place a comma. As a criteria argument, as I'll count the number of cells that contain male, so type male within double quote. Now close the parenthesis and hit enter. This formula returns 4, that means there are 4 male students in this data set. Similarly, to count the number of female students in this data set, go to cell H5, type equal. I'll use the count if function again, so type count if. As a range argument of the count if function, I'll select the cells E5 to E14 again. Now place a comma. As a criteria argument, this time I'll search for female, so type female within double quote. Now close the parenthesis of this count if function and hit enter. This returns 6. So there are 6 female students in this data set. Now we are ready to create the gender pie chart. To create the gender pie chart, select the cells G4 to H5. Then move to the insert tab from the chart section. Click on insert pie or donor chart. Here you will find different options of pie and donor chart. This time let me choose the 3D pie chart. As a result, a gender pie chart is created. Here the blue color indicates the males. On the other hand, the orange color indicates the females. You can add the data labels to this chart. To do so, click on this plus icon which is the chart elements and check the option data labels. As a result, Data labels are added to this chart. You can change the position of the data labels. To do so, go to data labels and click on this arrow. And here you will find different options. You can choose any option according to your choice. In my case, I'll choose the option data callout. As a result, you can see data callouts are added to this chart. Finally, I'll set the chart title. So click on this chart title and set the chart title gender pie chart. And this completes our gender pie chart. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for making a gender pie chart in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blogs or you can share your Excel-related issues in our Excel Demi forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!